is in full swing and off we go on EA Sports. Provides a temperature down for the Jim Zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone is not a good decision. He uses him about four yards. Now a man who's taking the lead to the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And not a whole lot of work operating there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. You look at this Arizona defense. This unit they're hoping to improve against the pass because right now Charles is number 27 in the NFL. And even though it's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you can say, they get out done very good. They're the top 10 in the league against sacks. Lance going to throw. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. They'll set up to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Lance now on first down. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. they got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That good for 19 at a first down. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 36. They run here with Rico Dowdle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Let's go now. now second and five. Now Lance. He finds his man, Pollard. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go or savor it a little bit. But I run right back at them. Pollard. We'll take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Murray now. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. One thing we know about RPO throws, they don't take long to develop. He had him wide open to the outside, hit him with it, but I think his eyes were looking downfield trying to see that open grass. Ends up dropping it. That's a missed opportunity. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That certainly looks like nothing to show now from these first two possessions. And guess what? When you're on a losing streak, that can lead to a full sense of here we go again. So on the sidelines, the offensive play callers, quarterback, they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive. Otherwise, it could be a long game. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Okay. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers. But you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Lance looking to throw it. 
A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And his drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Lance. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Greg George, deep for Arizona. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. You look at this Cowboy defense. They come into this one, rounding out the top 10 in the 10 spot against the run. They've established themselves as a top 10 run-stopping unit in the NFL here in the early going. All signs point to me towards them continuing that throughout the season. They look pretty good, pretty darn cohesive to me. On second down, they'll run it here. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first Omaha. down. Omaha. Hey. Omaha. Murray going to throw. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. On the move past the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give them a fresh set of downs. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest in first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Two jump plays in a row. This one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cards are back within a score. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys Ready? definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, go, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And Lance's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. Lamb's first catch of the game, good for a first down. CD with the catch, of course, coming off of a monstrous 2022 with the Cowboys. Fifth in the league in catches, six in yards, and took that jump from being a star to one of the league's elite wide receivers. Throwing on first down is Lance. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. And Lance now to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down to force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Lance looks to throw again. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely loved what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. It makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. This is taken in by McBride. That'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 75 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two yards is the pickup, and that'll be good for an Arizona first down. Here's Murray. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Here's second and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, Murray Prater, off, and the Cards the field, goal field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Pollard again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's third and ten. Now Lance wants to change him up. Out of the gun now on third down. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, Cowboys! Cavante Turpin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half.
extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here, but with that deficit, they've got to try to at least... Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. The mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. Move, 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 move. One and one and one and Now Murray again. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. They'll take over first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Ready, break. White. Lance now on first down. This one thrown deep for Schoonmaker. And that's going to be incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range. And the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Eat old blue. Hut, hut. A final shot before half for Lance. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to be out of bounds. 
Reynolds all the way down at the two. So close. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for corner number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. 95 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Here's a second and five. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Here's Murray from midfield. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing... It's a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Nigga, go for it.
And maybe some indecision on getting the punt team out there. And they're going to get a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They're going for it. It's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Right back to him on first down. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle and ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down from the seven, it's second and five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third and four. Hey, hey, hey. Now Murray. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! Trey McBride from six yards away. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Three weeks, three touchdowns. It's obvious they've looked his way early and often in the red zone this year. And that's usually a pretty good place to find a tight end in the NFL. Prater for the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. The no run back here, fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. We got to go out there and get some more points. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. B.J. Ojolari just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Ojolari doing his best to be a star for the Cardinals with plays like that. He'd also love to follow the footsteps of his older brother, Aziz, whose career is off to a nice start in two seasons with the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. Ready? They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? He did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Let's go. Second and 11 at the 41. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and 15. He's letting it fly for Cooks. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys are on their way to a 2-0 start. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. For a Cardinals. First and 10 at the 45 yard line. Murray now. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got the connection to Moore. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A couple of Oklahoma teammates there. Murray to Brown for a Cardinal first. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw again. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry to about the 26 here. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. There they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Catch made right side by Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Murray going to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondale Moore from four yards out. And the Cardinals are able to cut into that deficit. And he's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Ready. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they are really rolling here to begin the season on their way to 3-0 as they look to finish this one off. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And Lance going to throw. Open man lamb, it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That gain on third down, good for 28. Pollard gets it off the option. 
And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Effort play from B.J. Ojolari to drop him for a loss. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Dallas, they pick up their second win now on the year, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Arizona, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3, and they'll try